very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so finally we are back after three weeks of stopping sending the premium signals finally we are announcing that we are back starting from monday 11th of january and of course we we actually have released on the free on the free group the results of our uh, signals for the past year 2020 as we can see we have posted the results week by week and as we can see thankfully most of the weeks have ended in good profit now of course i have to clear one point here for example uh, 16 to 20 march on 2020 we finished the whole week with 1075 pips of profit now someone might ask can we really get the same amount of pips you are promoting here salah can we end the week with the 1075 uh, pips also the answer is most likely no that is to be frankly uh, honest with everyone. Now, we are making from our signals 1,075 pips of profit. However, from these pips, you might actually make 400 or 600 or, or less. However, the point here is it depends on how you are using the signals. If you are taking uh, the take profit number one, or if you are keeping the trade running until it hit take profit number two, or of course, take profit number three. It depends also on how you are applying these uh, trades. Some members actually opening three trades to hit take profit number one. Some members opening one trade and just keep it running to either hit take profit number three or stop loss. So it all depends on how you are using the signals. We are, we are, we are trying to, say, to tell you here that out of one, I mean, we, we have made maximum of 1075 pips and we are hoping that we have made uh, good profits out of these signals. Now, of course, I want to mention also that we are having this great offer which is going to expire today 10th of january uh, for those who are wish to join the premium group you are having this good chance to join right now actually and if you pay for one month you will get one whole week extra if you pay for two months you will get two weeks extra and of course if you pay for three months you will get a whole one month extra for free that offer actually is going to expire today and I'm encouraging anyone who is willing to join the premium signals group to do it today before uh, end of uh, the day. As we can see right here, last day to accept joining with this offer is going to be 10th January 23:59 a.m. GMT. So hope you guys uh, will get this offer and of course hopefully we will all see you there so if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact our support you can find their contact details in the description below this video contact them today and hopefully we will see you there all right so let's now begin with the weekly analysis and of course as usual we will start with the euro usd now before we start we have to talk about what's happening in the united states because it's actually gonna affect the uh, analysis now we are actually entering one wild week because of what's happening in the in the United States, especially in the White House and in the Congress. Now, actually, Ms. Nancy Pelosi, she's actually threatening Mr. Trump to uh, for an impeachment if he doesn't step down as the president of the United States. She wants him actually to resign immediately. And this is definitely going to affect the currency. And we have to wait to see what will going to happen. For example, if we tell you that we, we can actually start shorting uh, the euro USD, then we have to wait and see what will going to happen. Maybe after th three or four days, uh, the Congress is going to vote for immediate impeachment for Mr. Trump. That's definitely going to affect the pair. And for example, I think uh, the euro USD is going to shoot and rise up. In this case, if that happens, it's not Salah Isam to be blamed. It's the it's 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 what's happening. It's the logic. It's the common sense. Salah Islam is giving you the analysis, the technical analysis, and if anything happens in the world that can actually change the analysis or change the uh, the 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 direction of the market, it's not anyone to be blamed. We all have to be understand that forex market doesn't move based on technical analysis only. It moves also based on fundamental analysis. And we have to keep our eyes and ears open for what will going to happen in the uh, White House and in the Congress. And let's see if, if it will going to happen if Mr. Trump is going to be indeed removed as the uh, president of the United States. Therefore, this is going to be a technical analysis, but still you have to keep your eyes and ears open for the news and the world events. So what we can see right here right now on the uh, EURUSD, actually uh, the dollar is rising and is, I think it is gonna, it's, it's rising because of the, uh, the time is getting closer for Mr. Uh, Trump to be actually 
uh, to finish his uh, time as the president and Mr. Joe Biden is going to be the new president in 20th of January. And if we look actually at the Euro USD on the weekly candles, look at the weekly candle, we can see that clearly we have right here a pin bar. And if I'm not mistaken, at least we can expect from the pair to fall at least to hit that previous support level on 1.20620. That pin bar on the weekly candle is very interesting and actually it's appealing for the traders to uh, start shorting the pair. That being said, let's go to the one hour time frame. Now on the one hour time frame, let me just show you what we can see right here is we had this previous support on 1.21934 and as we can see the pair has immediately started reversing once it hit the exact same level so that support was actually strong right now the euro usd is actually showing some bullish momentum i think this is going to be just a pullback as we can see the pair right now has actually exceeded the previous support level on uh, this level right here let me just see which level um, the support on 1.22141 so the dollar, so the euro USD is actually uh, uh, re relying on that support level, and I think it's gonna continue the rise a little bit uh, for another 37 pips before it hit uh, this strong, very strong key resistance level, as we can see on 1.22536. After that, the euro USD is gonna be good for the short. Uh, this is from my point of view, but actually, I believe. Uh, supported by the uh, the strength of the US dollar currency right now most likely what we can see right right uh, now on the opening on Wednesday uh, morning that the pair is actually going to open with the gap and I believe the pair is actually going to immediately start the fall however just to be safe I can never send you a signal to start shorting right away for the euro USD so therefore we have to be prepared for shorting right if uh, if the pair actually going to test the resistance on 1.22536 and only then we can start shorting the pair that being said your USD is good for the short at 1.22536 and the target this time is actually gonna be right here that previous support level exactly right here right here exactly so we are actually aiming about 156 pro uh, pips uh, profit from this trade so the tech profit level is going to be 1.20948 now for the safe zone of course it's going to be ranging a little bit near that resistance level so it's going to be ranging for actually that's a lot uh, that should be fine yeah 57 pips because as we can see right here my friends if the pair hasn't reversed exactly at that previous resistance on that key resistance level at 1.22536 we can expect from the pair to continue the rise just right here and of course the reason i'm selecting this as the edge of the safe zone that actually this is above fibonacci 61.8 if we draw fibonacci 61.8 like that we can see that this level right here this resistance is right above 61.8 and if the pair has exceeded uh, FIBO 61.8 retracement it means that the trend has actually changed its direction and it's no longer bearish it's now it's going to be bullish that's why we have to close our trade immediately if the pair has actually reached that resistance so therefore that's going to be the safe uh, zone uh, the edge of the safe zone just like that so there goes your uh, signal for the euro usd and i hope it's going to work very well and bring us good profits now let's look at the pound. The pound actually is facing a strong, very strong key resistance level on 1.36154 for quite a long time. And what we can see right here, if we go to the weekly candles, that the pair actually has shown my favorite price action. As you can see, this is the price action I, li I, li I really like. And once I see this price action on a top of the resistance level, I immediately uh, suggest st to start shorting the pair. Now also we can see right here, if we zoom out that we had here this is strong key resistance level remember guys i'm on the weekly candles so we can see that right here this resistance is holding the position since 30th of july 2017 and we can see that the pair is right now retesting the exact same level of the resistance and seems like it's actually gonna continue the fall so that being said we're actually going to rely on the pullback after hitting that previous support level at 1.35637 and after that we can start actually again shorting the pound 
therefore pound USD is going to be good for the short this week at 1.36154 and of course if we short the pair we are actually aiming at least the bottom of the support level so we are looking for almost 185 pips of profit but I just want to be realistic and giving you better entry sorry better targets so actually let's uh, aim this previous support level just to not uh, risk uh, losing the trade so we are actually aiming 130 pips hopefully gonna be a good profit the target is gonna be 1.34877 of course the safe zone in, th in this case is gonna be right here the peak of that previous uh, resistance level so the safe zone is gonna be ranging for 58 pips which is really fair enough just like that there goes your signal for the pound usd and i really hope also it's gonna be a good signal and will bring us lots of profits now let's look at the aud usd now if we look at the aud usd on the daily candles however we can see the exact same thing we can see right here this is my favorite price action indicates a bearish reversal and we can see how the market has closed uh, on friday night and as we can see there was a strong uh, pressure from the buyers buyers and sellers but however i believe with the current situation of the us dollar currency index and the price action we can see right here most likely the aud usd is actually going to continue the fall that being said if we go to the one hour time frame on the one hour time frame actually we can see right here that we had this peak of the resistance right here exactly uh exactly right here yes just like that so as you can see the pair still reversing on that previous support as 0.77410 and seems like the pullback is actually gonna finish uh soon so after actually uh i would say about 31 pips we can start again shorting the pair and if that happens we can actually keep our target let me just first of all write for you the signal that we can start shorting the AUD USD as 0 0.77953 and if that happens we're actually gonna aim that previous support level right here because the pair if it if in case was able to break out from that previous support level let me just show you is gonna definitely reach that previous level of the support look at that if we actually started shorting the pair right here the the AUD USD on the same level right here on 0 0.77953 uh, we can keep the trade running and if the pair was actually able to break out from that support trend line i have drawn right here then the fall is going to continue at least until it hit that previous support level so actually it's going to be a very good deal to start short the AUD USD only if in case we can see here that the pair has reversed and hopefully uh, this is going to happen so therefore uh, our target is going to be right here exactly take profit at 0 0.76914 uh, therefore we are actually aiming from this trade about 102 pips now of course for the safe zone we can just make it right here uh, let's go to the four hour time frame and just make it right here above that previous resistance so the safe zone shouldn't be ranging for more than 44 pips and that's it uh, that should be one good deal, hopefully for the uh, AUD USD, because the uh, risk risk to reward ratio is very uh, tight. Actually, it's not tight. I mean, it's high, and as we can see, the risk is only 46 pips. Meanwhile, the target is almost 100 pips. Now let's look at the USD CAD. Now for the USD CAD, as we can see, as I said before, uh, the dollar is rising, and as we can see right here, the USD CAD. If we go to the daily candles, the USD CAD is still ranging on that previous uh, strong key support level right here on, um, let me just check again. Oh yeah, on 1.26466. And as we can see, the pair has actually made one single attempt so far. Let me show you. The pair has actually made so far one single attempt um, to break out from that support level so we can expect from the pair to fall for another attempt to, to create a support number two right after that we can start actually buying the usd cad and of course if in case we bought the usd cad we can keep the trade running all the way until it hit that previous resistance level on 1.29165 however i'm not gonna do that actually i want to select a more realistic level for you guys so therefore uh, USD CAD should be good for the buy 
at the level 1.2466 sorry wait a minute 2.2 uh, 1.2646 and the target is actually going to be right here the peak of that resistance so actually we are aiming 143 pips profit from this trade really hope we will make it so the take profit level is going to be 1.2789 double nine i hate to write that but anyway it is what it is let's go to the daily candles again so we can select for you the safe zone and i really hate doing that but however this is the edge of the safe zone like that so it's gonna be um exactly just like that almost um i would say 55 pips i would say because actually the safe zone should be ranging just below that support level that we are actually relying on if the pair was actually or the pair has actually managed to break out from that previous support level then most likely it's going to continue the fall but however with the current situation of the usd dollar currency index i don't see this is happening so there goes your signal for the usd cad and i really hope it's going to work very well and bring us good profits looking at the usd gpy usd gpy actually one uh, was one of the good, good signals that i have sent last week however sadly the pair did not reach my entry level and therefore i can't take the credit for the signal but however i will take a credit for guessing the, the, the right direction however usd usd gpy seems like it's going to continue the rise if we look at the weekly candles the strong uh, engulfing candle has appeared as we can see and seems like the usd gpy is right now re uh, getting ready for another rise and i believe if i'm not mistaken we can expect from the usd gpy to rise until it hit that previous resistance level so we can expect for it to rise for another 82 pips sorry did i say resistance i meant the support uh, it seems like the USD GPY is going to continue the rise until it hit that previous support level right here on 104.736. Therefore, if we look at the daily candle, we can see that right here we had a previous support level exactly right here. Sorry, a previous resistance right here. And it was also previously a support and right here it was a support as well. So, right now the usd gpy has actually faced a small resistance right here on 104.040 and seems like it, it has reversed right on that resistance level right now what we can expect from the usd gpy is to reverse again making a pullback retesting that previous support level and exactly right here the pair actually going to continue the rise and hopefully it's going to hit that resistance that being said uh if we go to the one hour time frame we can see that the pair is still far actually to reach that entry level so therefore and just to not miss the entry i'm actually gonna uh, rise my uh, entry level to be right here on that previous support level and hopefully it's gonna actually be a support number two and after that it's actually gonna continue the rise so we have to wait for the usd gpy to fall for another 28 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy and of course as we can see on the left we can see that we had here at the same in the same level we had a strong key support levels therefore usd gpy should be good for the buy as well at the level 103.663 and our safe zone should be just a little bit below that entry level we just talked about so it's just going to be like that so it's going to be ranging right here uh, just for another i would say 50 pips i would say so as, as i said before guys we can expect from the usd gpy to reverse exactly right here so don't be worried if you see that red going a little bit against you so uh this is the edge of the safe zone just like that and the target this time is gonna be <clears throat> target is gonna be 104.736 so we are actually aiming this time 107 pips profit from this trade really hopefully we will make it and good make a good profit out of this signal now looking at the usdchf now for the usdchf as you can see my friends the pair actually has uh, made the reverse right here from that previous support level that key support level has been respected again not one only once but twice on 0 0.8212 and 
we can see that the pair right now is reversing on that previous resistance level so we can expect from the pair to fall again to hit the same level of the previous support before getting ready to start rising again and shooting more up so therefore we can expect from the USDCH to fall for another 32 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy. Therefore, USDCH signal is going to be buy on the level 0 0.8212. And that's the target, if we in case buy the pair right here, the target is actually going to be right here, the peak of that resistance level right here. So we are actually aiming 84 pips profit from this trade. Take profit is going to be 0 0.89051 and the safe zone should be ranging right here just uh, till the at the bottom of that previous support level so exactly like that so the safe zone should be ranging for almost 51 pips which is really fair enough there goes your signal for the uccchf and i really hope it's gonna work very well for us and bring us lots of profits all right so let's now check the gold now of course the gold signal actually is gonna be a little bit confusing actually to be honest with you i have learned my lesson the hard way and i believe this week i cannot really give you a signal for the gold but however i'm gonna give you advices on how to trade it now of course um the news about miss pelosi to be threatening trump for impeachment or uh, if he uh, for an impeachment if he doesn't step down as the president of the united states um, I believe the gold is going to be opening with a gap on Monday or morning and we have to wait and see what will going to happen. Actually, the gold right now is in, in hard situation or actually I would say critical situation right now because of that huge drop right here. The gold actually has lost a lot of its uh, value more than 30, I think more than $70. And the thing right here is that this, this a huge drop happened because of the disappointing uh, statement of the NFP in the United States. And I believe it was also supported by the uh, riots uh, action happened in the uh, United States uh, of the uh, breaching of the capital. However, uh, right now we are not really sure what will going to happen with the gold. But we are sure what we, what we know so far that the gold actually has reached the lowest uh, price ever since more than three weeks, uh, actually more than two months, and it has reached on thousand, uh, 1,827. And after that, it has closed on 1,849. So now what's going to happen next? We have to wait and see what will going to happen, my friends. For example, I, I believe that on Monday open, Monday morning, uh, the gold is gonna open with a with a huge cap with a huge gap sorry and i believe it's gonna reach all this uh the, it's gonna go all the way to hit that previous resistance right here on 1880 however if that happens indeed i believe that the gold in this scenario is gonna actually continue the rise and it's gonna actually uh finish um, uh, going correction mode and actually start to rise uh, just like that to rise and climbing its way up all the way to the old level of 1957 however uh, let me just draw for you a Fibonacci retracement so we can analyze it together as you can see the gold actually has closed or sorry has reversed exactly on Fibonacci 61.8 now what we can see right here is, is we are having on Fibonacci 50 we are having the price of 1862 and that is exactly where i'm relying on uh, or actually we can expect expect from the gold to rely on that previous support level to continue the rise therefore we have to keep our eyes open for the gold and how it's going to be opening on monday morning if it's going to open with a bullish gap just like that as i mentioned for example if it's going to start uh, opening with a bullish cap like that so we have to prepare to start again buying the gold right on that previous support level at 1862 and then place your buy order and keep the trade running until the gold hit that previous resistance however the other scenario is that the gold is actually going to continue the fall and we can expect from it to, to open with a bearish gap uh, below that previous support level and if that happens we have to wait for the gold to rise a little bit more reversing on that previous support level to create a pullback and to create a pullback and hit the exact same level of 1837 and after that to, uh, to continue the fall this scenario i don't think it's gonna happen 
uh, most likely it's not going to happen, especially with the uh, time of Mr. Joe Biden to be the president of the United States. That's actually going to be good for the uh, economic. And I believe the gold is actually going to continue rising after that. Therefore, um, it's going to be critical to give any signal for the gold. So therefore, I'm, this, is, this was just an advice. Uh, therefore, I, I really cannot give you the signal. We have to wait and see what will gonna happen before giving any signals. I'm just doing uh, the right thing, guys. I'm just being realistic. I don't have a crystal ball to see the future. I'm just, again, being be realistic as much as possible. And I just told you that we have to wait and see what will gonna happen with the gold before giving the signal. Giving the signal, to, uh, giving a definite signal of buying or selling right now is gonna be crazy and i don't think it's uh, the good thing uh, most likely i will send you the signal on a new deal of the day video or on the midweek analysis video hopefully this time we will make good profit with these trades and the end, um i really hope it's gonna be a very profitable week and i think it is indeed gonna be a very profitable week and it's gonna be appealing for the traders and the events uh, the, this week is full of events and we can actually use them to make a lot of money from trading. So in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.